let's make the Umidigi F1 feel like a real F1. <laughs> What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadget Beard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets and accessories for you and on today's video I'm going to show you how to make your UmiDG F1 feel just a little bit faster like a real F1. Not really, but we're going to go through some tweaks and tips on how to make it feel fast you are going to probably notice a difference, so it is going to be a good video. Make sure you tune in. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is change the launcher. Uh, launchers are available in the Play Store, like right there, Hyperion Launcher. But I have to warn you, unfortunately, after an update, we got an update on March 1st for this device, and it kind of disables the multitask button for any third party launcher. I think it's just a bug. I hope it's a bug because if it's not, uh, UmiDigi really, really messed up by doing that. It kind of makes third party launchers unusable and that's really, really bad because Android's about customization and options and that really just eliminates the option to get a third party launcher on the UmiDigi F1. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you anyways. I have the rootless launcher. Once they fix the bug, make sure you download the third party launcher you love. I actually love using rootless launcher. I have it across all my devices there. Uh, let me just go to settings real quick. And I'm gonna show you that actual bug so you don't think I'm actually making things up. So then we're gonna go to default apps here. We're gonna click on the home map and we're gonna go rootless launcher. And the reason why I love this launcher it's because it's snappy any third-party launcher is going to be very very snappy and fast this is the rootless launcher here the whole button works the back button works but the one bug that was introduced with the latest update for the UmiDigi F1 was this BAM it does not let you multitask and go through the apps it somehow thinks that the stock launcher is still running and when you go to multitask it gives you this quick step keep stopping and if you go to app info you see that is the actual stock launcher that came with the UmiDigi F1 besides that prior to the update the rootless launcher was working flawlessly it was fast fluid and I had absolutely no issues with it. So that is the number one thing you wanna do to make your UmiDigi F1 faster. The next thing you probably wanna do is you want to go into settings and you wanna to go to system, advanced, about phone, and you want to enable developer options. Now this is gonna give you some extra customizations but we want to go to where is the build number and you're gonna just click here, tap on here about seven times and it's gonna say you are now a developer. So then you go back over here and you're gonna have developer options. I'm gonna show you how to do some tweaks and developer options, but that is the second thing you wanna do is enable developer options. Okay, now the third thing we wanna do is now that we've developed developer options, we want to go into the setting itself and what we want to do is we want to cut down the animation times to 0.5x this is going to make the phone seem a lot snappier some animation depending on the phones you have uh, take about a second or two and make the phone feel a little bit sluggish and by you cutting down the animation time makes the phone fly it makes it feel like you're really driving the f1 you're gonna scroll down all the way into you see a uh, window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration so what you want to do is tap on each and then animation scale to 5.x 5.x for uh, transition and animator to 0.5x now keep in mind you can completely eliminate the animation by clicking zero and that's just like bam bang bam bang 
I kind of still enjoy watching a little bit of animation during the transition. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it at 5x. But if you want a super snappy feeling phone, go ahead and eliminate that and just hit that uh, 0x. And it's going to by far feel like you're just flying through setting apps and or anything like that but that is the next thing we want to do is cut down the animation time to make the umidigi f1 feel a little bit faster now the fourth thing we want to do is we want to go again head back into settings now we want to utilize this dura speed option that Umidigi gives you. I think this option is available for a bunch of MediaTek Helio processors. Uh, they do give you that option. I've only seen it in phones with those processors. So let's go ahead and take advantage of it. So if you go ahead and open DuraSpeed, it's going to give you the list of all apps you have uh, installed on your phone. You want to activate that app for DuraSpeed only for the most common apps used. If you don't use those apps too often, don't enable it because the app is going to run in the background. It's probably going to drain your battery even more. So if you don't use it that much, don't enable it. If there's a, a group of apps that you constantly use, enable it, especially for gaming apps that you love to game with. Enable that and what it's going to do is going to boost the Helio P60 uh, to run a little bit faster and more fluid with that app. As I mentioned earlier, we did get that update and it did break some stuff, but I think it made the fingerprint a little bit faster, but I'm not quite sure. But anyways, one of the things that I absolutely hated about this phone, and you can go ahead and watch the things I hate right there on that link about this phone, was the fingerprint sensor in the back. Now, one thing to make it unlock and feel faster is enabling face recognition for a faster screen unlock this thing it is fast for screen unlock if you let me lock it right now and go ahead and lock it so the screen is locked and i do have screen lit for a night but as soon as i tilt this to my face bam oh i didn't take my face because it had that screen because it's dark but there you go Let's try it again. You see that? And you don't need to have that lit. I only have that lit, that screen lit for dark places. You can actually turn it off, but what you want to do is go to settings. We want to go into security and location, face unlock, and I'm going to put in my pen. Please don't steal my pen. So what we want to do is so enable face recognition when sliding up, boom, you can enable that. Face recognition where screen is lit there and activate screen in dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so I can show you guys because when I turn it on, you saw it, it, when it detects a dark location, your screen will turn white. It's so big, it can shine the light on your face and recognize your face and unlock the phone. Just keep that in mind. But this is where you activate your phone facial recognition you can also activate it in smart lock again don't steal my code and if you go to trusted face you can go ahead and set it up that way I set it up the umidigi way uh, because I think it's just going to be a little bit faster anyways so let me go ahead and unlock it again now as you can see the phone's unlocked but when I tell boom it unlocks the phone so now I'm currently at an angle but as you can see, it unlocked it pretty fast. There you go, boom. It unlocks it pretty fast. Makes for a faster screen unlocking experience than the fingerprint. That is the fifth thing you wanna do when making your Umidigi F1 feel faster. So another thing we wanna do is we wanna change the screen resolution to make it look a little bit crispier. Uh, I like crispy screens and I like to take advantage of the screen resolution. Uh, I don't like OEMs giving you a 1080p display or, or saying this thing is uh, this much PPI pixel per square inch and then only utilizing 90% uh, of those uh, pixels. So what we want to do again is set of systems. We want to go to developer settings and in here you're going to be able to change your DPI. 
on your phone. I think it's 360 or 390, something like that is set by uh, default. But if you scroll down, uh, you can go over to, here we go, smallest width and just put 409 and you're gonna notice that it scaled down everything a little bit bigger. You get a little bit more information on the screen and it looks just a quick bit sharper. Now those are six things I just mentioned to make your Umidigi F1 feel faster. Now let me give you a quick bonus. Now the camera app, I kind of don't like the camera app. Again, I was one of the things that I don't like about this phone and I did mention it in that video like I said earlier go watch it if you haven't but this is just a bonus there is an app out there called open camera bam and it's this one right here and open camera it's a free app and uh, basically it gets updated it's like a community app a lot of developers work on it and put their input and make the app a little bit better now I absolutely like this app it just makes it look and feel better it makes the phone faster the pictures look just a little bit better and it gives you more options that's just a bonus if you want to go ahead and download that app and use it as a third-party app instead of using the stock camera app. It's just going to make your phone uh, feel a little bit better in the camera department. Thanks for watching, guys. Those are the six things uh, you can do to make your Umidigi F1 feel like a real F1 racer. If you guys have any other tips or tricks to make the F1 feel faster, Please make sure to leave it in the comment below just to let all of us know uh, the Umidigi F1 community is strong and is rolling. A lot of people did get this phone so just make sure you leave that in the bottom so we all know what we can do to make this phone faster. Again guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.